Hi, today I'm going to explain the changes we have implemented into Staff++. So mainly I'm going to explain the major changes with Staff+. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that we have changed is that with Staff+, you have one report command and you do report and then you uh, fill in the player name and the reason uh, why you are reporting him. We have split this one report command up into actually three different commands so one is the reports command which is um, a management command for staff members to clear reports uh, from certain players um, then the second one is the report command in um, in which you just report any kind of issue you might you might have encountered on the server so you will notice that it doesn't autocomplete the player name um, because it's not linked to a player when you report uh, this way so i can just say okay someone stole my stuff stole and it gets reported since i'm a staff member i also get notified uh, of it and then we have a second report command, which is report player. And you will notice that now it autocompletes me the list of not only online users, but also offline users. So that's another change that we've done. Uh, you can now report players even when they're not online. So we just check all the players that have ever played on the server and we autocomplete it using that command. For example, my man is not on the server for now, but. Uh, I can still report him like that. And then you'll see, okay, my man has been reported by Garageport, uh, which is the player I'm currently playing with. Um, so yeah, that's one of the main differences that we have is that we can, that we have two different commands and that we can report uh, offline players. Then the second major difference um, is that we updated the UI. Um, so, if you open the GUI hub, you will see that you have three different um, options here instead of one. You have the unresolved reports, the reports assigned to you, and the closed reports. So let's start with the unresolved reports because this is kind of the same as we had before. You will notice that there are a lot of reports um, currently unresolved. Um, that's because I want to show you also the paginations pagination system um, that we've implemented here so there are more than 100 i think 120 reports or whatever uh, that are open so you will notice okay it fills it up until here and then the bottom line is empty because it contains a next page uh, button which takes me to the next page of reports and then you can, i can go to the previous page so doing that we have some sort of pagination system which will also help uh, with performance um, so you will notice that the last two reports are the ones that i've created so yeah i'm the reporter of that one um, i'm also going to um, uh, resolve the reports so you see the reason and when we don't have a uh, culprit it will say culprit unknown the status is open so we've implemented the status system which it didn't have before um, so the, the the status when you uh, create a report is open then the one that was linked to a player you will see that the culprit is my man and the reason is my man stole my stuff and the state is open as well it also has, has a timestamp um, now so that you can see when it was reported so when I click on one of these reports, I will assign myself to it. So this means that no one else can pick up this uh, report. It means I will take action to resolve it. So I'll, I'll first do the first one. Uh, you'll see I'll, I'll get notified. Uh, Garageport accept reports from Garageport because I also uh, I also created the report. That takes us to the next option in our in our UI it's the reports assigned to you so when you click that you see all the reports that are currently assigned to me and which I have to resolve I have plenty um, and I'm also 
planning on implementing a work in progress limit, uh, but that's not implemented yet. So you will see that the status of all these are in progress because I've assigned myself to it, meaning I will start work on it. So the latest one is the one I just accepted. If if I click on this one, I go to the manage report screen in which I can again uh, view the details of the report and I have three different options um, for what I can do with the report. So the first one is unassign myself. So if I unassign myself for whatever reason, it goes the report it goes back into an open status and someone else of the staff can pick it up again. I'll click on it. Uh, oh, I clicked twice. So uh, you will see that I reopened the report, uh, which means that now this report is again here. So another staff member or even myself can pick it up again. So I pick it up again and then I'll manage it. So now I have two, the two other options are reject the report or resolve the report. Rejection can be for whatever reason, maybe somebody's just spamming reports or it was a suggestion rather than a report. You can reject it for whatever reason and get and it will get placed into a status rejected, which means it's closed, no other work is needed. Then resolve is also an end state, but it just marks the marks the report as it has been resolved by the staff member. Um, so the player is happy um, and everything's back to normal. I do plan on implementing also a reason for resolving or rejection, rejecting, rejecting um, a report, but that hasn't been done yet. So I will just um, resolve the report and then you say, you say okay, garage report, resolve the report from garage report. And what happens, it will get added to closed reports. So closed reports, again, anyone can view the closed reports. Um, and yeah, it just says, it just plays, places it into the status, either rejected or resolved. So I resolved that report, so that's in the status resolved. So I'll pick up the other one, so which was an unknown culprit. And go back to here. Then again, I have the option to reject or, you know, or resolve it. I reject it. And then here I can see that oh, this, this one um, got rejected. So yeah, that's kind of um, the plugin. So the main difference is that well, the UI had some upgrades. We also implemented a MySQL and SQLite database, so we dropped the support for flat files, um, which does mean if you want to migrate from Staff Plus to Staff Plus Plus, and you did use reports or warnings of Staff Plus, that you will lose your history because we do not support a migration strategy um, to an SQL database. Um, but yeah, that's only a one-time thing. Um, or if someone else wants to write a migration, uh, well, some migration lo logic to do that. Um, but I haven't, I haven't developed that part. So if you want to migrate, you will lose your old uh, data. Um, yeah. So what I also implemented was a Discord uh, integration plugin. So it's a separate plugin which you can also install in your server together with the Staff++ plugin, and it will notify you whenever a, re a report gets created or when a report gets resolved, rejected, or accepted by um, a staff member. So whenever that happens, it will notify you on your Discord server. I will quickly show that. <coughs> 